Hello my soccer universe, welcome to the review of League 1 and the Eredivisien. Despite us probably talking a whole lot about League 1 because of what was happening there, um, I'm wearing PSV. I kind of want to make it a rule, whenever I talk, uh, whenever the headline is about uh, League 1, I probably should wear a Dutch jersey and vice versa, kind of to keep a little bit the balance. But yeah, uh, as I said, we'll talk a lot about League 1 and not that it's PSG aside one of the tightest leagues in Europe at the moment and that there's a change everyone happened it's actually kind of exciting and uh, we should look forward to it no we'll talk again because there was a game called off for a bottle thrown but we will start in the Eredivisie where um, PSV actually had probably the biggest win uh, of them uh, all in both leagues. Beating Vitesse, a team, Vitesse, you know, have been really, really good at the beginning of last se season and actually made it also to the cup final. Uh, so I think they're a decent opponent. Uh, but PSV, in the end, won it rather easily. If you like your long-range goals, uh, watch the two goals. I mean, the one by Sanka 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 yeah, it falls in front of his feet and he just needs to... Uh, shoot it home, but it was still a nice shot. But the one by Bruma, I really, really liked. Uh, even uh, then, they hit the uh, Wolf, Wolfsburg in the second half, so it was an easy win. And at that point, PSV actually puts pressure on Ajax going three clear. Though Ajax's opponent was not all that great. But before we talk about Ajax, we need to talk about Feyenoord. There's something growing in there at this very moment. Feyenoord, if they win their game in hand, are top of the table. And pointing definitely in the right the right direction. And the way they uh, beat Zwolle, I mean, it was all within the first half. Four goals, 6th, 9th, 31st, 35th, Linsen, Sinistera, Linsen and Thiel. So there's really something growing. And I'm looking kind of forward to the um, Classico between Feyenoord and Ajax coming out. I think that could be a very, very intriguing game. Uh, as for Ajax, rather easy win at Walwijk. Uh, 5-0, I mean, it was expected, so they take top of the table again, boost their already superior goal difference, so uh, that's the big thing that Ajax is going. The first goal is one of the most ridiculous goals that I've seen, because you see De De Liblind running towards the touchline, seemingly being fouled, falling over the referee, da, 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 doesn't give, he controls on the floor the ball with the Wallback defender kind of over him, and... The referee doesn't blow it, that's, and he plays it. He manages to play it out to Tadic, who crosses it in, and Alea uh, scores the goal. And it was kind of, kind of, I think everyone expected their foul to be called. Nope, Alea pulled, pulled, puts it in. Uh, Berghuis then uh, scores to um, uh, Timber, adds one, and Alea uh, another a second one. So, uh, a rather easy route. And as I said, it's still Ajax's league to lose, although the way PSV and. Um, uh, Feyenoord especially, are hanging in there, maybe we will get some sort of a title race. Uh, not so much this uh, challenge this year from AZ, who still uh, mid, mid to low table, so, uh, and also Vitesse, isn't it? it's more or less a three-way league at this very moment uh, with Ajax firmly, firmly, firmly the favorites, and remember last season was also kind of tight, and then Ajax pulled away, probably also uh, will depend on how um, it will go in Europe. More details on that, of course, in the stats cast where we'll get all the stats, expected tables, and so on. The stats cast will come probably tomorrow morning. Uh, so let's go over to France and let's talk first about the on-field stuff because conveniently the um, um, off-field stuff is all uh, towards the last game. Lil, very quickly at Monaco, and you seem to be cruising. Uh, uh, Jonathan Davis scoring the fifth and in the ninth. However, Diata pulls one back just before the half, and then Ben Yedda in with a man down. I mean, uh, Pavlovich had been sent off for uh, Monaco, so you really thought that Lille uh, might play this home at that point. No, nope. with some Ben Yedda in the 80-83rd gets the equalizer in a result that neither team will be really, really happy about. PSG for once played well against France, but uh, France not. But can we please get rid at home of those black shirts? Uh, I have to say I lauded them in my review, but at the, uh, PSG in black uh, doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I like the, I even like the blue shirts are better. I mean, it started off with Mbappe uh, very early, early on giving the Parisians a lead. 
And then it was kind of on the tipping point. They played well, missed uh, ch uh, chances. Uh, but then Kayla Navas gets sent off for kind of a very weird challenge coming out. And I was actually surprised. I mean, Neymar came off. That, that kind of made sense. And Sergio Rico came on. And not Donna Roma. So that uh, I didn't know what that. And then even uh, Colomani gets the equalizer for now. However, as I said, PSG was largely the better team. They then get uh, the lead again through Appia. I mean, Messi took the shot, but was deflected by Appia in such, in such a Messi shot would not, not have gone in. And then Messi finally gets his first league goal with a typical Messi shot. I mean, the way he has the ball, he puts it on his left foot and curls because it, it was meant to happen. Finally, Messi scoring. And this is what should be the headline in Liga. Or it could be that Ren continue their big run and they are as you said uh, on the top spot there so they are moving moving up the table Brest destroying Laos a Laos team that has been flying high that should be another headline with an entertaining game between Metz and uh, Bordeaux but uh, Nice also moving up now uh, with all the results uh, in, uh, into second spot no the Olympico and this was the big game how it only lasted for five minutes because for some reason, I don't know what is happening in France. Uh, people seem to be very, very angry. I probably gotta ask Idris in person on, on, on that. Why do they suddenly keep throwing stuff? I mean, the, I know those are intense rivalries, but let's make it not, let's let, get it that out of hand. I mean, they, the corner that uh, Payet wanted to take had it be already delayed for two minutes because there were stuff thrown. And he goes back and then a full water bottle, plastic bottle, but still, it's a, if, it, if it's a water bottle from a distance that hits you, it's gonna hurt. And the referee calls the, uh, the, players, uh, the players in and then after an hour or so, or if not more, uh, yeah, he said the, the game should be played again, but the Marseille player said, no way, Jose. And yeah, so we have to see the league already apologize and say that they condemned the action, blah, 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 do something about this. I mean, even the Nets in Marseille didn't help at PSG and, and, and all the additional stuff that they had. Do something about it. I honestly on, on think at this moment, the only way that you can hand, hand, handle it is that uh, you... Yeah, I mean, it's the home fans who make the trouble. Yeah, uh, lockdown in France coming up, at least for the, for, uh, for the stadium. It is annoying because I'm really finding a big liking for Ligue 1. Uh, almost every game that I watch, there's some exciting stuff. There would be the rivalries there. Uh, it's the atmosphere is great. You have now Messi in there. You have Neymar in there. You have uh, other teams like Marseille that are really uh, playing attractively. So much going on in Liga, and all that the media is talking about, and that we have to talk about, is games being called called off. It's damning. I actually would think that again. They will take it from the uh, Nice front that this will be nullified and then they play, uh, Lyon has to play in front of closed, uh, behind closed doors, not in front of closed doors, behind closed doors for a few games and that game will be played at no ultra side. That's what I'm expecting at the moment. It's calling. It's absolutely calling. And I mean, you can, can, can even say that uh, the Lyon players, what the, are you doing? Let us play. I mean, there's enough rivalry. Don't throw stuff. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But, you know, it doesn't make sense because I'm not so angry or whatever. I, I really want, would like to know what's going on in France. Honestly, I, I, can, I cannot understand it at this moment. But, you know, I'm not in France. So um, I have to ask Idris uh, for a little bit more info on that all that means at the moment is that we have psg flying 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 high um and nice as i said is currently in second spot and ren behind Los and marseille but you know marseille has a game 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 hand which they could uh join up with nice again in any case please drop a line below if you want to add something to what i've been saying uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i will talk to you soon Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.